Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I really wanted to do a spring inspired look because I am so ready for spring and so sick of snow. So if you want to find out how to get this look just keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy. So first I'm just going to be priming my eye with a MAC paint pot in soft ochre and I'm just going to be rubbing that in all over my eyelid to get even coverage so our eyeshadow sticks. Then the first color I'm using is this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the color Always Pearly Pink and I'm just going to be patting that in all over my eyelid with a standard eyeshadow brush until we get a good, until we get a good color consistency. I'm just going to be applying some tape so we have a nice sharp eyeshadow edge and then I'm taking this kind of corally pink color from my BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to be putting that over top of the L'Oreal eyeshadow that we already applied just to give it a bit more of an intensity of pink and the L'Oreal eyeshadow will really help to give it a little bit of a shimmer. Next, I'm going to be using two colors out of my 18 color Galaxy Chic BH Cosmetics palette. And those two colors that I'm using are this one, which is Aphrodite, and then I will also be using Mars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these two colors together on an angled eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. And I'm just going to pat these colors into the outer corner of the eye pretty intensely so we kind of have a really dark kind of outer corner going on. Also, while you're patting this into the outer corner, you're going to want to make sure that you blend it evenly with the kind of lighter pink that we apply because you don't want the edges to be too sharp. Then I'm taking this shimmery black eyeshadow from, again, the BH Cosmetics palette and on a little tiny pencil brush like this, I'm just going to apply just a teeny tiny bit on the outer corner just to give our eye a little bit more depth to the eye look. You don't want to do it too dark because that might kind of make the look more dramatic and we want it to be kind of light and springy. Once you do that, just take a fluffy blending brush of your choice and just blend all of the colors together. Then once you do that, you can go ahead and remove the tape to reveal your sharp eyeshadow edge. Then for the top of the eye, I'm taking Perversion by Urban Decay and lightly I'm just going to be making a very thin line of eyeliner on the very top part of my eyelid. I didn't want to use liquid eyeliner because I didn't want the eyeliner to be too harsh. So I just put a thin line of that on top as close to my lash line as possible. Then I took this little tiny pencil brush and just went through and buffed that out just a little bit. Just so it looks more smoky and doesn't look so, you know, like... I didn't want a cat eye to be the main focus of this makeup. Then moving on to the bottom of the eye, I am taking Pistol by again Urban Decay and I'm just applying that just on the bottom part of our eye just to give a kind of light brown color. Then I'm taking this flat eyeshadow brush in Aphrodite again from BH Cosmetics and I'm applying that color just underneath my waterline just so we can kind of have a bit more dimension and kind of match the colors. Next, I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes and applying a few coats of the new mascara that I've been trying out, which is the Maybelline Mega Plush, which I did do a review on if you guys are interested. So I just applied a few coats to my top and bottom lashes. And then this is what the completed eye looks like. Now moving on to the lips, I really wanted a light pink color, so I'm using this color by Sephora, and it's just a really pretty pink color. I don't know the name of it. If I find out the name of it, I'll put it down below. But once you do that, you have finished the look. Okay everyone, so here you have the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this makeup look and you're just as excited for spring as I am, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye everyone!